In this session, we are going to see how to perform serial reception using UART peripheral in LPC2148 microcontroller. So these are the steps for reception of a character. So here reception means it is with respect to the arm. So reception means arm is receiving the character which is transmitted from PC. So even though you are going to write a program for reception of a character, the first four steps remains the same for serial transmission as well as the reception. So these four steps are required for performing the initial configuration of UART. Only difference is there in the fifth and the sixth step. So we are directly moving on to fifth and sixth step. So the explanation regarding steps, uh, steps from one to four it is already given in my previous lecture. If you want to understand steps from 1 to 4, you can visit my previous lecture. I will be giving it in with the I button. In the fifth step, you need to wait until UART is ready with the received data. Right? In the previous program, what you have seen, before transmission of a character, you need to check whether UART is ready to receive the new character that is to be transmitted. Similarly, here in this step, you are trying to check whether UART is ready with the received character. So, here the received character will be available in a register known as U0RBR register. So, once the reception is over, your received data will be present in U0RBR register. Right? From that, you are moving on in turn to a variable known as data. So, the final data will be available here. So, you need to check whether the reception of the character is complete in this RBR. Right? So, in the UART reception, you are having another shift register known as receiver shift register. So, it will be a serial to parallel shift register. In the case of transmission, I have told you are having transmitter shift register. It is parallel to serial shift register. But in the case of UART receiver, you are having receiver shift receive shift register it is nothing but it is a serial to parallel shift register it is opposite of transmission so here it is a serial to parallel shift register so whatever data is coming serially will be shifted on to the shifted inside the shift register based on the board clock so whenever you are giving a board clock the serial data will be converted into parallel data and it will be inserted on to the shift register so how will you identify whether the reception is over you can identify that the reception is over by checking the status of receive shift register. Right? Once the whole data is entered into the shift register, that shift register will be full. Right? So once the shift register is full or completely filled with the data, you can identify that reception is over. So you should have a status bit in order to check the status of that shift register receive shift register so that is done by using u0 lsr shift uh, lsr register lsr register we have previously seen right so this is lsr register in the case of transmission you are checking this bit thre bit but in the case of reception you need to check the zeroth bit receiver data ready right rdr bit so if rdr bit is zero what does it mean U0 RBR that is a receiver buffer register where you are having the data is empty. So if receiver buffer register or in turn it is uh, almost it is a, it is a shadow register of receive shift register. So when the receive shift register or receiver buffer register is empty, what does it mean? Reception is not complete or reception has not started. Right. Once the reception is complete, you can identify that U0 RBR register or your trans, uh, receive shift register will be empty, will be full. So when the U0 RBR register is full, you can identify that RDR bit, that is a receiver data ready bit will be 1. So if RDR bit is 1, you can identify that reception is over. In step number 5, you are checking whether RDR bit in U0 LSR register is set. If it is set, you can identify that the reception is over. So, how will you do that? 
you need to split this rdr bit alone from this register how will you split that bit you need to make this bit as one all the other bits as, uh, as zero so you need to and u0 lsr with all the other bits as zero and this bit rdr bit as one that means you need to and with 0001 or hexadecimal 01 this is how you are splitting the rdr bit then what you will do you will check whether rdr bit is equal to equal to zero so in the previous lecture i have told that if you are giving an exclamation mark here it is equivalent to check equivalent to the checking of r u0 lsr and 0x01 equal to equal to zero right so if u0 lsr and 0x01 equal to equal to zero means reception is going on right reception is going on so this it will continue to execute this loop it will keep on executing this while until this condition is true and once u0 lsr and 0x01 equal to equal to 1 what does it mean this condition will be false and it will come out of this loop right so once u0 uh, uh, lsr and 0x01 equal to 1 it means reception is over so this loop will be broken and it will come back into will go to the next statement what is the next statement in step number six your data which is present in u0 rbr register so u0 rbr register is a register holding the received data right so that received data you are taking into a variable known as data right so you know then your final data will be available in this data register so this is how you are performing the serial reception using UART. And the, these are, this is a register summary showing all the registers involved in UART reception as well as transmission. 